Well, that didn't take long, did it? <laughs> Hello there guys, my name is Coast Chow Donksterborn, but built for Theme Park Factual Entertainment, and today, yeah, it's the follow-up. <laughs> so the funny thing is, I recorded a video for today to go into more details about the administration and, you know, talking about who could buy. Well, typical me, I do something, get ready to edit, and now to re-record, because some massive news has just come out from Drayton Manor themselves, and today, they've announced the Looping Group, born in France, have bought Drayton Manor, so it's come officially from the Drayton Manor blog, so I'll link that in the description below. But today, we're going to talk about that blog, we're going to talk a little bit more about the Loopings Group, I'm going to give you guys more details on them, the parks they own, the coasters they've invested in, and things like that. So, all of that will be in this video, as well as talking about my thoughts as to what the Looping Group will do with Drayton Manor and the excitement among the fan base. Before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss YouTube video. Please share the channel around with your friends and family on social media, and make sure you keep following the channel for more updates like this one. Let's get into this video and let's talk about the blog post from Drayton Manor about the Looping Group buying the theme park. So according to the Drayton Manor blog, Staffordshire-based family attraction Drayton Manor Park has confirmed it has been sold as part of a pre-pack administration to Looping Group, a European company operating 15 leisure parks across the UK, France, the Netherlands, Sweden, Germany, Spain and Portugal. The group will retain Drayton Manor Park's 599 employees as part of the buyout under the same terms and conditions and has very ambitious development plans to ensure the park's long-term sustainability and make it into an even more attractive leisure destination for families. The acquisition of the park, which includes 100 plus rising attractions, Europe's only Thomasland, a 15 acre conservation zoo and 4 star hotel will make it the largest and one of the flagships in the Looping Group's portfolio, which also includes West Midlands Safari Park and Pledgewood Hills in the UK. The theme park and zoo, which attracts over 1 million visitors each year, has confirmed it will operate under the company name of the Drayton Manor Resort Limited. The Bryan family who have owned and run Drayton Manor since it first opened back in 1950, will remain a key part of the management structure until the new ownership, with William Bryan retaining his role as managerial director. So the managing director, William Bryan, said, Like many businesses, we've faced challenges over recent months, but the sale to the Looping Group is an exciting and positive new chapter for Drayton Manor Park. For us, finding a buyer who would protect jobs was key, as well as finding who would continue to operate and develop the Drayton Manor Park to our guests know and love. Looping Group's commitment towards a very ambitious investment plan and its pledge to reinvent invest profits primarily back into the park made it a natural and very appealing fit for us. The Bryan family was always committed to making the park one of the UK's leading attractions and under the Looping Group we are looking forward to developing the family friendly offering for many years to come. Now, the CEO of the Looping Group, Laurent Brouloy, said we are thrilled and proud to welcome Drayton Manor Park and its talented team to our group. I'd like to commend the Bryan family, who has over three generations been developing the park and made it one of the most beautiful references of our industry in the UK. We are deeply respectful about that has all been achieved by the teams. We aim to continue the story and support Drayton Manor's development with the same entrepreneurial DNA and values that we share whilst keeping the strong local anchorage of the resort. Our aim is to provide visitors with an unforgettable, fun and entertaining family day out. The park's offering is perfect fit with us with the extensive range of award-winning rides and attractions including Europe's first and only Thomas Land. Now, the PWC director and joint administrator, Mike Denny, said the group has been facing exceptionally challenging trading conditions. In February, Storm Dennis forced the park to close unexpectedly, whilst its planned reopening in March was delayed due to COVID-19. These factors combined exacerbated cash flow pressures on the group. We're delighted to have secured a sale which preserves 599 jobs and ensures the survival of a much-loved leisure attraction that is steeped in history and heritage. The purchasers will be working with an existing management team to continue and grow and develop the business. We wish them every future success. Now, the Looping Group was born in Merlimont Haute de France in France, and it's been in business since the 31st of January 2011. So the parks, it has eight parks in its current locker. Uh, this is the ninth park, Drayton Manor. But if you're looking at the different parks that they own, they own an Aventurum Park, Helen Dawn in Holland, Bagatelle in France, 
Kobach Park in France, Fort Fauna Aventureland in Germany, Isla Magica in Spain, Murder Sable in France, and of course the two UK ones, Pleasurewood Hills and West Midlands Safari Park. Now, of course, Looping Group are an interesting group, and I'm going to go on about my reasons why I think this is the best buy for the situation right now. So that, my friends, is the latest from the blog. Again, I've linked that in the description down below. I talked a little bit about the history of the Looping Group. They first started in 2011, right at the beginning of 2011, and they they, beca they began this catalogue of theme parks, which includes West Midland Safari Park and Pleasurewood Hills, along with many other European parks, such as Bagatelle, Murder Sable, which is opening their brand new Junior Coaster next year, um, Silver Mountain, and of course, uh, we've also got Helen Dawn, Aventure and Park Helen Dawn, which I've reported on in the past on this channel last year. Uh, so, you know, a good, decent catalogue of family fun theme parks around Europe. And, you know, I, immediately, I think this is the best fit for Drayton Manor because, you know, not only are they keeping the jobs, which is fantastic, um, the Bryan family still get to have some kind of running in the park, they still have to have some kind of managerial aspect of the park, which is great, it means they get to keep the family heritage and the, the whole, you know, generational running of the theme park, so they get to work alongside with the looping group to run the park. Uh, like the looping group runs the rest of their parks. Now, I know there's going to be a lot of concern with the investments that the looping group have made at their parks, the other parks around around Europe. Um, obviously, we've got the new Junior Coaster, which is relocated from uh, Ratanga Junction in South Africa that's coming to Murder Sable, which is Silver Mountain, opening in 2021. Um, there's other coasters that are at the parks, like the Mac Wild Mousers, uh, the, uh, the Mara Wild, Mara Wild Mouse as well, which is the old Flamingoland one that's at Pleasurewood Hills now as Marble Madness. Um, the Mac one, which is of course Tiger Express at Murder Sable. So, you know, there's a lot of concern as to these investments. And, you know, a lot of people have said, you know, Drayton Manor maybe won't go for the, the big coasters and things like that. Um, in the next few years. However, I think you should all be very, very excited about this because not only does it mean Drayton Manor is saved, the jobs have been saved, but also from the sounds of the blog, it seems like Drayton Manor, obviously it is the largest, but it looks from the sounds of it as if it's going to be the, the flagship park of this portfolio of parks for the looping group. So that is always a good sign because you see what they've done with Pleasurewood Hills, for example. Look at Pleasurewood Hills and what they've done over recent years, you know. Uh, Hobbs Pit being transformed into the Root and Toot and Target Trail, which is a good family dart ride. Um, bringing in a, an updated entrance, retheming the log flume to the Water Fun Factory, the old Rattlesnake Kids Coaster. We thought that was gone, and they brought it back as the Express in 2019 when it opened, when it reopened to the public after a few years away. SBNO. So, you know, there's a lot of things to be excited for with this park. I mean, look at the potential sites you've got to work with with Drayton Manor. You've got uh, Pirates Adventure, that is a closed dart ride. All the things have been sold off for that, so we know that's not coming back. But that is a decent potential site for a new dart ride or some kind of compact coaster. If you can't, if you have the money to demolish the building and build a coaster on it, that could happen. Uh, we know G-Force's site's been flattened now. There's rumours of a Thomasland expansion, but I really don't see that happening. I really hope we get some kind of compact coaster on that site in the next couple of years and start working on their first big project on the Loopings Group because obviously we know the Pleasure, Pleasurewood Hills have you know fenced off the go-kart site and you know some of us are really guessing at a coaster here, so maybe Pleasurewood Hills first, then go to Drayton Manor and invest in the coaster there. Um... Obviously, Splash Canyon, we don't know whether they've got the go-ahead to reopen that yet or not. Um, but we'll see what happens with that. Maybe they're closing it off and doing a full refurbishment of it. So, maybe it might not be the same Rapids ride as we once knew. Um, you look at uh, Excalibur's site. That's a slow-moving boat ride that opened in 2003. Closed before 2012, hit the parks. And, you know, Excalibur was a good childhood ride of mine i rode it you know two years before it closed or around about a year before it closed and you know that ride was such a great ride and you know if they can get a replacement ride system in look at merlin's quest at toverland yes it's a different owned park but by no by a different company but you know you look at that ride and you look at the tobo system for merlin's quest in that avion section of toverland and you know, Toverland are still an ever-growing theme park in Europe, so I think with the, the European parks in the Loopings Group's um, portfolio, 
I think Pudgewood Hills is taking advice from the European parks with things like the updated entrance and refurbishing old attractions and you know maybe Drayton Mile will go down that route as well. We may not get a coaster in a few years but you know at least it'll still be investments to keep up with the competition. From the sounds of it the zoo will be staying. I know there was a lot of comments in the last video uh, that said that they should get rid of the zoo because it might be holding back money. The zoo looks like it's staying, but I'm guessing they'll probably try and rebrand it and repackage it with the rest of the park. Um, so hopefully 2021 will be like a, a full like rebirth of the park uh, for its first full season back in operation. So yeah, it's since 2019. So, you know, I think it's just a gradual process really. It's like the, the Millen Entertainment's buyout from the, the Lego company. I think what we're looking at here is a gradual process and a gradual buyout of the park. So I think the Looping Group will gradually, year after year, ease their way into the operations of the park along with the Bryan family as managerial directors. So I think we're looking here at a gradual investment process over a number of years. And, you know, that's what we're pretty much looking at here. Um, in terms of new attractions, I mean, I mentioned this uh, in previous videos, the RMC Raptor costs... Well, I think someone said it in the comments of the re of the recent video yesterday. I think uh, Rollblazer cost something like seven million euro, uh, seven million dollars. Sorry, so you know I don't think that's too much of a difference in pounds or euros. So you know they could really go along that different route, and if that works a Drayton Manor, invest some more into the chain. Uh, you look at Kentucky Kingdom, bloody hell, a, a flaming water park in South Dakota is getting one next year. So, well, for this year, but obviously it'll be next year. So. You know, if a water park in South Dakota can get a RMC Raptor on a discount price, I think, you know, the the new looping group could pay £7 million pounds or something for, you know, a, 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 a Raptor for Drayton Manor, especially for that GeForce site. Shockwave, there's been a lot of debates about that future ride and the future of that ride. Um, you know, a lot of people think that Shockwave could go in the next few years. Somebody commented actually and said you should relocate Shockwave to Lightwater Valley. Um, comment down below if you want that, you know, put in a suspender thrill coaster, look at Trips Jewels, Hell's Uber Kopf, uh, and you look what they've done with that, I think they could invest in something like that for the Shockwave site maybe and do like their first inverted coaster uh, and send Shockwave to like Water Valley if they were to get rid of Shockwave, but from the sounds of it, it sounds like they're going to keep Shockwave from the, from the blog, from them mentioning Shockwave as part of their catalogue of attractions to promote the looping group, it looks like Shockwave's staying. Uh, which is which is good for people that haven't ridden it yet. Apocalypse is a fantastic thrilling drop tower. Looks like that's staying. Thomas Land is a big part of it, obviously, so we know that's pretty much going to stay anyway. Um, and there's a lot of different rides and attractions that you could see staying or being relocated or refurbished or removed entirely. So I think it's going to be very interesting to see the future of Drayton Manor. I can't wait to see what attractions they're going to bring into the park with this brand new investment group. Uh, and I'm really glad the park's been saved. I'm so glad the park's been saved because it deserves to be saved. So, uh, I mentioned it in the last video. It deserves to be saved. So, thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. Can I just say thank you for the support on the video we did on this uh, yesterday? Because it got 2,000 or just over 2,200 views in the first 16 hours, which is mad for this channel absolutely mad like the top video on this channel has got like what nearly 5,000 views and that was like a year ago and yesterday we've got like a video that's pretty much in the top 10 most viewed videos and on the channel which is unreal suggesting we've got you know 1,000 uh, nearly uh, nearly 1,100 videos on the channel uh, over the last two full years nearly two full years uh, it's about one three quarter full years on the channel now uh, including the little bit in November 2018 um, but the fact that we're getting closer and closer to 500,000 views across nearly 1100 videos is unbelievable so thank you guys so so much for that really appreciate that um, and for now guys thank you very very much for watching this video stay tuned for more updates on this I'm sure we're going to get more details on this and you know Drayton Manor um, and more attractions in the future I'm sure we're going to get some uh, more details on this and, and obviously guys send your comments in down below I want to do a social media lounge where I'm reacting to your comments on the Drayton Manor being bought by the Loopings group so make sure you send in as many comments as possible don't be afraid to send any comments I'll reply to every single comment I mean Jiffy Rug shout out to you you commented it on a previous video I'm the guy that will reply to everyone acknowledge everyone in this community and get you all involved in this channel so get your comments coming in 
Um, I'm probably going to react to the comments of the administration video and this video uh, in one social media lounge video, so uh, then that's probably the plan. But um, keep sending in your comments down below here, even after this video has gone up for a couple of days, because you, your comment could feature on a social media land reaction to everyone's thoughts on this. So, thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Click the notification bell see you never miss YouTube video. And for now, guys, keep living the coastal life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.